Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Pajska International, Neil Artisan Educator here. And I'm double excited. Actually, I have uh, made this tutorial for you, but also my brushes are finally here. And I'm so happy like uh, to see them, uh, especially the D-liner one, the one which we are going to use in this tutorial. Uh, so you'll be able to see it in action and I will give you the link in the description uh, below that uh, yes they are finally available I, I'm, I'm really over the moon with it because uh, it is a fantastic brush uh, we are going to do this beautiful feather and have a look in here uh, so a little bit of the summery vibes into it like a kind of rainbow style uh, ombre and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button to don't miss any tutorials. Let's start! That's the rainbow again. Beautiful feather for you this time. And to recreate this look, I'm just going to buff my white tip. You would paint a client's nails in white color, but it would look awesome also on like pink or even blue. So different pastel colors. Um, I think it will look fantastic too. Give it a buff and now we are going to do this beautiful design. So I'm going to put on the side some nice colors. No, oh, this one is too pastel so it is a sunshine princess from neon news as a yellow i maybe will use some green as well and that is meow we dream i even don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> some blue and after blue i need some purple and actually i'm liking this one a lot and maybe a pink if i can squeeze it in so just to show you a different color combinations then after the pink i could place an orange and then yellow again so they would go like in a circle like on kind of rainbow colors and i'm also needing the foil design gel so i'm just taking a little bit let me clean this. I'm taking a little bit. Don't use your brush for picking up the colors because it's pretty damaging for the brushes. And then using my brush. I'm going to paint the feather. So in here I have painted the feather going down the way. So now I'm going to paint the feather which will go up just so you've got some different idea. And I'm starting with the thickest part just because it's kind of trained my hand and give me a better brush control. So I'm going from the thickest to the thinnest. And the feather has like a wee triangle a shape at on the bottom. So you can make this part thicker, just so you've got more gold. Give it a nice twist. Okay, so that's the spine of your uh, feather. And this way it's really easy to follow the shape. And now I'm going to paint some wee triangle on the top. Ish triangle. I'm trying to breaking the shapes. Okay, so this is the top of the feather. Now we need to get some dent in there and then imagine this shape we just follow still this shape like but leave the gap in here so follow the shape okay and now you can join this place so this this way the feather has like a wee broken place and go to the end we can also add some more gold in here and then paint the other side so another broken place and then follow the shape again break the place 
follow the shape break the place just so it is not too symmetrical and this way we have painted a feather okay i'm going to give it a cure and this is going to be a 30 seconds cure on the slow settings and then grab some gold transfer foil and some transfer foils don't transfer well if your foil is um, stiff that means it is not going to transfer so don't even try it like don't use it because you will waste your time the best foils are the foils if you scratch it it is easily coming off or when you bend it you will be able to see it that it is all coming off really uh, nice so that's an easy forms to uh, foils to transfer i'm cleaning it on the back wait for it to dry and then pick up my tip and transfer the foil in between my fingers hold it hold it hold it hold it hold it so the heat from your fingers is kind of heating up the gel as well and you get a really nice coverage then search the places which you didn't transfer pick up the fresh place on the foil hold it hold it hold it lift it up and the last part hold it hold it hold it lifted it up okay you can also check if there is any other missing places and you can go over it again usually going like too many times it's not going to give you a nice result so try to get it right by the first time okay and then the colors we need to fill that in into the rainbow so i've got some yellow and pink in here so i will be starting the opposite colors or maybe yeah let's go pink here on the bottom you could also paint the feather first of all with the gel polish then top coat it bath it and then you would do the foil design gel because now i have to be very careful when i'm blending my colors so i don't go over the gold so really take your time at this part dip in into the blue and I'm not cleaning my brush too much in between and um, picking up the colors because I want them to blend nice. Okay, then the blue. So I still had some tiny bit of those purple in my brush to go on the bottom here. Then the bigger amount of the purple here blend that in to blend you are just doing like lots of lots of small strokes of the brush so lots of small strokes go into that blue Blend that well. Okay, now I'm going to clean it my brush. Just some blue on its own. And we can go into the green. Okay, clean my brush, blend the blue with the green. Absolutely stunning design. And I think because of the gold, it's also really elegant. So for the ladies which don't like too much on their nails, I'm sure they will love this design because I could wear it on my nails too. So you can see we have created an absolutely stunning feather pop it into the lamp 
you could also create like a two feathers, one going on one side and the other going on the other side. And I can actually show you that as well. But then you would make them just slightly smaller. I might, I, I will show you the opposite way as well, which I have told you about. So if you're scared, you have, uh, you will touch the gold pieces. This is more time, maybe it's the same time consuming because then you don't have to be that careful. And it might be also easier maybe for some of you to paint it. So I'm going to do a feather shape straight with the gel polish. Okay, so I'm just... This part is much quicker to paint it, but we are getting some extra work to be done with the buffing, but I'll show you what I mean. Yellow. And then another feather. So that's the blue, then purple, and a pink. So we've got two feathers. I'm going to cook it inside the lamp first. This one is finished and I can apply the top coat over it to protect the design. We can also stick some gems around it as well. That will look pretty awesome too. Inside the lamp. And then I'm applying the top coat. Over it. Give it a cure. So two different ways of creating the same kind of look and you can pick up which one you prefer it and which one you find it working best for you. I'm not sure which one I prefer, like one day I do it this way, the other day I do it this way. So now I need to buff this design. So because of it, it's um, longer because we need to buff it. But at the same time, we don't need to be as careful when we're blending the colors to go over the gold. Now just clean it with the new dehydrator. And then the gold design. And for some of you, this might be easier, like creating the splash of the color, because then you know uh, how to paint the feather. So like a wee line. And now we are just outlining it with this black foil design gel to transfer the transfer foil. If you would recreate this design, let me know down in the comments below which way would you pick it 
to recreate this look. Because I think like they both pretty easy, just slightly different. So that's the feathers ready. Kick it inside the lamp. So 30 seconds, slow cure, clean foil. And then we can transfer it. Transfer foils and one stroke is my favorite techniques and the crystals as well. Uh, that's something which I love uh, creating the most because I think it looks so effective and, and so beautiful. So a couple seconds more and that's it cooked. Transfer foil. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm only pressing on the one feather first and then the second feather. Ah, uh, and this one moved. Oh no, don't move. Okay, we manage nice. And I've got one missing bit just at the side in here. Hold it, hold it. And then we can just clean the bits and pieces. So I'm using a tiny bit of the blue scrap. The eyelash brush is best for cleaning this. The micro brush like as best and then our last step is to apply the top coat over it to protect our design so it's going to last nice and then cook it inside the lamp and this one is ready so it can go into the collection I actually like the way they go all different direction. So I need a couple seconds longer and then I can put the one which we have created with two feathers. So two feathers, you need to make them a little bit smaller uh, compared to the one larger one. And that's our next design. So I hope you have really enjoyed watching this uh, beautiful feather tutorial. If you did, give me a like and subscribe to this channel if you're new and here glittery hacks and bye for now